you guys are welcome we need to showcase something such as post product and many more regarding this carousel is amazing because carousel works in a nice sliding manner if you use carousel widget you can show or display product post events etc in a wonderful sliding manner here in this video tutorial you are going to learn how to use the carousel widget so let's get started come to elementor dashboard after inserting the carousel widget you will find some sections on the sidebar of elementor dashboard go to layout sections and select skin particle allies and ramble i'm selecting particle and selecting column number and this time i am shifting to another skin allies and i'm increasing the column number three Now going to ramble skin you can set limit from here you can set the limit of item and also you can adjust the item gap just you have to scroll the item gap scroll bar Going back to default skin. Now come to image section. From this section, you can manipulate the image. I mean thumbnail image. See, there is two switcher button: thumbnail show and thumbnail show link. There is two more scroll bar: image width and image ratio. Using this, using image width scroll bar, you can manage the image width likewise you can also manage the image ratio so you have to drag and drag the image ratio scroll bar come to the main point thumbnail show this time i'm unchecking the thumbnail show switch up button see the thumbnail image is invisible I'm checking the button again see all the image is linkable because the thumbnail show link is enabled I'm unchecking this button and taking mouse on the image see image is not linkable this time From the title section, you can on up the title. See, title is missing. I like this. You can handle the title of carousel. Now come to meta meta section. From there, you can show meta. Just you have to click on the field, and it will be provided so many options like author category. Like I'm setting category. I see category is presenting company, another sub news, company update, and events. I like this way you can set meta. Come to text. There are two switcher button, show text, and using the using show text button you can hide and reveal the text see text is invisible text limit this thing will help you to limit the text i'm increasing the text i'm giving 30. For setting layout for the readmore button, go to readmore button section. See, there is some control, readmore, readmore text, button size and button icon. 
uh, from the read more text field you can add the button text like i'm writing c detail see all the button has taken the c detail text from the button size field you can select the button size extra small medium large extra large or small if you set icon to the button the button will be look creative so you can add the icon with the button just you have to click on the icon library and i'm selecting this icon and inserting see the button see the icon with button after adding icon with the button you will find two more thing icon position and icon spacing from the icon position you can set the before or after this time i'm selecting before and you will find the icon before the button text and using icon spacing you can make a space between text and icon another thing you can if you want you can hide the read more button if you want just you have to uncheck the read more button see button is not visible come to the query sections look at the source a query section basically can help you or uh, to sort out the things uh, sort out the items you are going to display using carousels just click on the drop down arrow you will find so many items that you can display using the carousel like i'm selecting portfolio see different things is being displaying uh, uh, using the carousel see there is another section navigation you know every ca carousel hold arrow and dot and it is a common feature with a carousel see the navigation control from here you can set arrow dot arrow and fraction arrows dot progress or you can also set none this time i'm selecting arrow and dots when i selected arrow and dot see two switcher button is revealed and one is dynamic bullet and another is show scroll bar if you enable dynamic bullet switcher button or on off options you will find the dot will be dynamic and see how it looks like this time i will enable show scroll bar on off options see there is no scroll bar when the carousel is scrolling i'm enabling the show scroll bar this time see the scroll bar is showing after every single scrolling you can also set the arrow or dot position like top left top center top right center cent bottom left bottom center or bottom right carousel setting the last section in content tab see there is a layout control from here you can set the cover flow this is another layout of carousel widget this time i'm setting the selecting cover flow uh, this is the another look of displaying product in carousel another important thing if any column is not equal just you can enable item match height then the column will match automatically auto play switcher button if the button if the switcher button is enabled then the carousel will play automatically
See, there is a control named loop in the carousel setting. And the control is enabled. If you want, you can make it disabled. Just, you have to uncheck the switcher button. Now I'm going to style tab and you can see some section under the style tab and all these sections will lead to style. For example, I'm, I'm going to hover and setting the inner background color. Using the color palette, you can also set your desired color. I'm hovering and see the background color. meta section from this section you can add color for meta sections you see there is a dot and this is actually the meta divider you can also add color to the meta divider i'm going to meta divider control and clicking on the color palette and i'm selecting color for meta divider and see meta divider has got color now come to button sections from the sections you can add color to the button i'm going to hover and setting background color 000, 000. One more thing, animations. You can also set animations to the button when you are when you will hover the button. And I'm setting push. Guys, that's all about carousel widget tutorials. After this video, if you face any issue, you can read dog about carousel widget. And the link will be given in the descriptions below when you're using carousel widget if you face any problems you can directly send support ticket to our support so thanks for watching